My name is Alyssa Edwards, and this is Alyssa's Secret on the Boulevard. Don't get groovy with me, bitch. <laughs> that man told us the girl. He said, don't get groovy. Y'all know what I should tell? is this story when this man ran up on me when I was coming out the wig shop. So, this is to a true story. I think people these days wake up and say, girl, where in the world is Alyssa Edwards so we can go irritate the hell out of her on her day off? I had went to the wig shop by my house to give me some bobby pins, nail glue, and things that I needed to put in my bag to go do my shows. You know, I'm very that shopper that's very in my own world. I go in, I know what I want, I get it, and I get out. I ain't got time to be fooling with all of that. I got my sweats on, I got my ball cap, I come walking out, and this man had come walking towards me. No tea, I'm already a sketchy person, baby. I be looking, looking all around. You gotta keep, be aware of your surroundings these days. You never know what could go on. Girl, and he starts to run at me. Bitch, how you gonna run up on some queen coming out the wig shop? I had my good purse with me. I'm holding like this. I said, excuse me? Excuse me. I looked, I said, motherfucker, what are you doing? Girl, I wasn't trying to do anything. I just want to come over here. Uh-uh, don't do that. You wasn't just trying to come over here. You ran at me sideways. What's going on in your head these days? Bitch, it's a new year. Girl, I was scared that I was about to get robbed over there by my house. I got in the car, I called Marco frantic. He said, what happened? I'm telling him the story. He thought I got robbed. So he's like, stay where you are. I'm gonna come over to the wig shop. I told that man, you need a kicking, honey. Now, you got about two seconds to get up out of my area, my space, before I call 911. I got that shit on speed dial. Don't do me, honey, cause I'm not that girl. Sitting here on the Hollywood Boulevard, all these folks looking, Nervous, look, taking photos. I think he just, you know, wanted me to give him a dollar or something. I probably would have gave her five dollars if she would have stayed five feet away. Baby, look, if you wanted a dollar, you could have came walking over here slowly. You don't go running up on folks. Damn, I'm trying to buy my wigs and my eyelash glue and the necessities I need to go do my gig. And you want to come bogarting at me like that? Oh, baby, it was cold outside too. I'm gonna go take me a class, honey, because I don't carry mace on my keychain. So I'm about to get me a can of mace. I'm gonna go take me a class to learn how to control myself. If I get, ever get into a sticky situation, I'm gonna learn how to get myself out because I looked at that man and I told him, don't you get groovy with me, baby. There's a way you go about these gigs. You just can't be, you know, coming up out of the blue, out of nowhere, baby, because I'll turn into motherfucking Catwoman in about two seconds, bitch and start twirling on the girls. I held on to my wig tight though, bitch. She wasn't getting the wig. She might have got my purse and my pocketbook. She wouldn't get my new lace front wig. No, ma'am. Always and forever, Alyssa Evans. <laughs> and if y'all have forgotten at this point, honey, to subscribe to Wild Presents, you need to get your life and just sit somewhere, honey. You need to reevaluate what's going on in your world in 2015, okay? Because it's right here in the corner. It takes two seconds. Bye. Did you hear the news? RuPaul's DragCon is the first ever drag convention in history. Go to RuPaul'sDragCon.com for tickets and all the tea you need to know.